today I'm going to be walking you through how to unbox QT. So when you first receive QT robot, it's in this big box and there's tape lining the perimeter and down the middle. And so to open it, you want to first cut through the sides. And then when you're cutting down the middle, you want to be careful not to go too deep so that you don't damage any of the contents of the box. Okay, when you first open up the box, you'll see a poster. It's a really cute poster of QT Robot. And you can just hang this around. Um, but for now, I'm going to put this to the side. So the second thing you see when you open up the box is this folder that contains various important documents for your usage. So the first thing you see is this business card. Now, this is for your dedicated account manager. And this is a really important resource for you if you ever need support or have any questions for how to use QT. The second thing in this folder is the safety guide. This will show you how to use QT robots safely and the various do's and don'ts so as to avoid damaging QT. Next, we have the product catalog. This contains various additional information on QT robots capabilities, on the user interface, and will basically serve as a good resource for um, knowing basically how you can use QT robot in your therapy sessions. The final item in this folder is a sheet of paper that contains the QT Robot's Wi-Fi credentials, the user credentials for this tablet that allow you to log into the tablet and then access resources online such as tutorials, manuals, and upt any updates on QT Robot. And then you also have the identification of your robot. And then in this corner, you have a USB stick that also allows you to access any of these materials offline. We do, however, encourage you to constantly look at the online resources as those will be the most up-to-date. So then we're on to QT Robot itself. So you have this cushioning foam that will be very useful in the future for storing and transferring QT. And then there's UC QT Robot. And you wanna be really careful that when you're lifting QT Robot up, you don't damage any of its joints or motors. And so you wanna lift it up like a child from the center and place it to the side. Being, you also wanna make sure that it's not too close to the edges so you don't risk it tipping over. Then we have two boxes. The first box here contains the um, electricity plug and this is of course very important as it is you will need it to turn QT on. And then the final item in this box is another box that has two tablets and their chargers. So the first tablet is for the educator, the caregiver, the therapist, and this tablet will basically serve as your way to mediate the in interactions between QT Robot and the learner to um, design any uh, programs and curricula, although there are various curricula for early stage development, um, social skills and emotional abilities pre-installed, you can still customize them along the way to really fit your learner specific needs. And then for the learner, this tablet basically has visual stimuli, games and other uh, resources that can be used for the, um, to basically guide the interaction between the child and the robot. And both of these tablets will connect to the online platforms where you can access additional information that can help and support your sessions. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the box to the side. So I'm going to place QT Robot front and center so you can get a good look at it. And then I'm going to plug it into the nearest outlet. Again. I can 
plug it in directly um, at the back behind its feet. So it'll take a few seconds to boot up so that QT is awake and ready to use. Uh, the, the advantage of having a um, electrical cable system rather than a battery is that you never have to worry about the battery running out or whether or not QT Robot is fully charged and you can really run your sessions as smoothly as possible. And as you can see, QT has woken up and has yawned and is now fully energized and ready to use. So the next step is that we want to set up the tablets. So I'm going to show you how you can immediately get going with your therapy sessions. So when you open up the tablet, the first thing you want to do is connect both tablets to QT Robot. To do so, you drag down from the top of the tablet to access network settings, and then you hold on the Wi-Fi button where you can then see all the Wi-Fi connections and you click on QT Robot Wi-Fi and this so in my case it's QT 136 and so you choose this option and you use the credentials provided in the folder to connect to QT and then you go back to the menu and you click on QT Robot Learner and all you have to do to set up the learner tablet is to click start So now that we've set up the QT Robot Learner tablet, we now want to set up the QT Robot Educator tablet. So you're going to go through the same initial steps, dragging down this bar and then going to your network settings and then connecting to QT using the credentials provided in the folder. And then you want to go back to QT Robot Educator app. And this will be the default screen where you can program your own games and curricula. But we're now going to access some of the pre-installed curricula that we mentioned. And so let's try emotional ability training. So when you open up the emotional ability training folder, you'll see six modules. Each contains various lessons that teach and train a certain skill. So for today, let's try module two, emotion recognition. And here you'll see three levels, each in increasing difficulty. And today we can try level three. And so you want to run the session. And then all you have to do is click start. And the session will start. Now is the time to play a little funny game. I'll show you photos of children in the tablet and you should find how they feel. Let's play. So on my tablet now, I, I see three emotional sets that I can pick from. So I'm going to pick the first one. Look at the tablet. How does the child feel? So here I'm asked to identify what emotion this is. So I'm going to pick the correct response. That's right. The child is happy. Now, the next emotion. How does the child feel? Okay, so this time I'm going to pick, pick the incorrect response to see how QT responds. So here I'm going to pick angry. Look again. The corners of the mouth are downward. And the eyebrows are low and downward. The child feels. Correct. The child is sad. How does this child feel? Okay, so now we've seen a correct response and an incorrect response and how QT Robot facilitates emotional recognition. And with that, we conclude our unboxing of QT. As you can see from opening the box to running a session, it's really only a matter of minutes. And yeah, that's it for today. We invite you to check out our resources online. We have tons of videos demonstrating QT's various capabilities and I really hope that you enjoy using QT.